Hello and welcome to HITC Sport. If the last few transfer windows are anything to go by, it's mainly that the Manchester United boardroom mean business. Either that or they're throwing money at a desperate situation in a vain bid to claw back some credibility. Uh, either one really. But what players would Man United fans like to see arrive at the club this month? January transfer window, what players would you bring in for the club? Uh... I mean, that's a tough... I mean, we're quite solid at the moment. don't genuinely think we need anybody, really, at this transfer window. No, no, I wouldn't say anyone, to be honest, because I don't think we need anyone. No, I think we're all right at the minute. It would be the um, Atletico Madrid striker. Go for is it Griezmann. Hey, is it Griezmann, Griezmann, is it Griezmann? Hey, Griezmann. In a perfect world, you bring Griezmann in. I think maybe if we get Griezmann, Slatan and his stay for maybe... Maybe he's got another year in him, but it'd be like Van Persie maybe come and win the title and then there you go. And then we need Van Griezmann. Wait, is it Griezmann? Mm, Griezmann? No, it's Griezmann for sure. Yeah. thing is, he's big uh, big friends with uh, Pogba as well. So there's a good chance. Big Gavin Central. Just Gavin's make sure that the Chinese clubs don't find out about him. Well, it's going to be Rodriguez, isn't it? He's a big one at the moment. I was after. He definitely lit up that World Cup, but it's been a couple of years now. Do you need another striker though? That's what we're looking at. The thing is though, Zlatan is, is ancient. Um, <laughs> Surely his, his legs are going to give out at some stage. His legs are better than Rooney's, and he's older than him. I don't think <laughs> Rooney should be used as a, as a benchmark for any sort of fitness at all. No. He's probably tucking into a steak and kidney pie right now, so... I would think so. No, his last time's obviously very good, but can he last every game of... because they're in all four tournaments. Yeah, but he keeps himself fit, doesn't he? He does. I mean, he's not out in the town with uh, Lingard and the boys, so... No, no, no. Oh, he's, like... a, he's a... I don't know if he's a Taekwondo or Karate or Kung Fu, what, he's, a, he's a black belt second down or something like that so he keeps himself fit so if you think his legs gone you go and tell him that good <laughs> Carrick is getting old 35 year old so balls to the midfield uh, maybe something like um, Vidal I, me personally I'll get Tony Cruz to play Carrick in long yeah, run yeah I mean break the back to Tony, Tony Cruz yeah. what is this 2014 again <laughs> are you David Moyes uh, Neymar and Bale just for sentimental value the talk of Patrice Evra that'd be quite nice if we could get him I'm, I'm more bothered about who's leaving. I want Memphis to pay to go. Schneiderlin is gone. Memphis to pay. Waste of time. We want rid of him. Give him a chance. Honestly, I, if, I, if, I, if I had Memphis standing in front of me now, I'm like, you've got a few months. If you really want this, this is your chance. You know, put in the effort and uh, try, and make, the pies, try, lose try, try and make a career out of yourself. You've been given a fantastic opportunity at, at a huge club, and, and this might be the biggest club you ever play for unless you get your act together. So. He's being dropped because he's um, not performing in training, lazy. Social media, just big time boy, just uh, not impressed. No, no class, no form. Uh, for me, an extra centre back would be very good. Hey, you don't like uh, Rojo and Jones? <laughs> uh, no. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.